One of my favorite quotes, that behind every sin I do is a lie I believe. And there's something that's called the illusionary effect or the illusionary truth. Illusionary truth is this. It's that you've heard, when you hear something enough times, you can start to believe it's true even if it's not. It's illusion. For example, have you ever heard the phrase, um, eating carrots makes your eyesight better? Okay, so not true. But it's good for you. But it was misinformation that was spread in World War II by the British Minister of Defense. And they were saying that their pilots were able to see Nazi bombers at night because their pilots ate carrots. And they also had this thing called radar. (laughs) You ever heard uh, this? You only use 10% of your... Okay, and who said that? Einstein. Okay, not true, and he didn't say it. But if you say at the end of anything, Einstein said it, people are like, oh, it must be true. Einstein said it. (laughs) Even resting your brain uses more. Here's one, an apple a day keeps the doctor away. Okay, well, that's true, but you have to eat the peel. And um, here's one, um, from space, you can see the great wall of China. Not true. Once you pass 180 miles, can't see it. But we hear these things, and we think they're true because they get said enough times. It it actually is related to what's called processing fluency. And that's this, that our brains tend to go to not what's true, but what's familiar. I want to ask you this, what lie has become familiar in your brain? And you've been said this, you've been told this, you say it to yourself. I prayed with somebody earlier this morning, right out of one of our gatherings. One of the things he says to himself regularly is this, is I'm a bad person. <clears throat> to change the story, you have to change what you believe. I'm married uh, to a third grade school teacher, not my third grade school teacher, that'd be weird. My, my wife is a third grade school teacher. And, um, and one of the things we know is this, is a lot of kids who struggle reading believe this lie. I'm dumb. I'll never be good at this, so I should just give up. And so one of the things we have to do is start to change the messaging that they're sending to themselves. You will know the truth, and the truth will set you free. Do not conform any longer to the pattern of this world, but be transformed by the renewing of your mind. Jesus wants to change what you believe. And here's what. What I believe about me is directly linked to what I believe about Jesus. Jesus starts with saying, do you know who I am? All through the Gospel of John are these I am statements. I am the bread of life. I am the good shepherd. I am the way, the truth, and the life. I am the life and the resurrection. I am the light of the world right here in this chapter. Because Jesus knows this. If we know who he is, then we'll know who we are becoming. <laughs>